sec, I'm going to show you guys a couple ways that you can edit videos in Windows 10 without downloading any extra software or anything. But you can do some pretty cool stuff, so let's dive on in. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is click here, or you can just go to this, click the start button, and just type in Photos and trusted Microsoft Store app. You'll either have it installed or it'll be in the store. Click it. And, yeah, I don't want to read it. This is all your stuff from, <clears throat> excuse me, if you use OneDrive, which I'm sure you do if you have Microsoft um, account on Windows 10. So, and you obviously these are videos. Click it. And already, this is part of the video that you're going to see. Put in a few clips, and that is how you get to it. But we're going to go up to here and click on create. We can click on, like, if you have a folder already. Okay. What can we block or nothing? Um, like, I have, you know, this is a folder. I think three clips in it. Yeah. Watch it, just watch it, um, how they are. <clears throat> now, this is pretty interesting. So, this is like an editor, you got your project media, your preview, and it's not, you know, like a non linear editor, it's more of a storyboard. But, um, let's drop this down in here, and your clips will automatically appear if it's, um, in a album, etc. You can click up here, add um, more. So you have three clips, and you can trim filters, and you have to do them one by one filters. It's pretty sweet though. So let's just do that briefly. Motion. I'm just gonna click around really. Okay, um, the thing I have not seen is, um, transitions. Uh, you got music up here, has a little bit of, yeah, you can add your own up here, click on uh, your music. Had to turn the volume down. Okay, so that's in there. You can add text, of course. Got a bunch of different stuff. As you can see down here, choose a layout. So small title. Uh, let's click this one. And <clears throat> I don't know why I chose that background. See if it's animated. Okay. Uh, and then you can do, let's click on this. We got 3D effects. This is actually pretty sweet. Because they actually have anchor points. So, uh, let's do frozen breath. So, like, as you can see, I can drag it on the screen. Then over here on your right side is basically your effect, like the list. So if I click the plus, I can add more. Let's get an explosion over here too. And you can resize it. And you got your different 3D perspective uh, movements for, for the, you know, along the radius and axis along and all that. And what you can do is attach to a point, set that to on. And let's say, mm, I don't know, again, just because we're just, you know, just briefly showing this ain't trying to make anything, you know, sweet out of it. And 
That's kind of retarded to do the really close to each other, but it's all good. That's it done. Let's just go. I'm gonna play it. I can mess with the other clip. Let's see how and everything it does. So let's click over here. Play it. That's funny. Actually, not for this one here, because um, let me see if you put effect on there, and you want to put it along, like what I'm going to do right now. I want to put it where I shoot the gun. Just drag along the timeline. The darker. You know, just the dot. Drag that along, and then this blue thing is actually the effect. So if you just hover your cursor, effect range. I haven't found a way to adjust the range of it, like how long it lasts, etc. This one is impact on metal. So, if I shot the dude. Shoot right there. And again, this is Wazow. I mean, it, it's pretty neat for being built in Windows 10. It has to be relatively new because um, I haven't seen it. And I just seen the one in the, <clears throat> excuse me, photos and TV yet, but. You know, you think pictures, you'll think movies, clips. And as you've briefly seen, that's why I was saying, wish you could adjust the, uh, I mean, trim. I mean, it may let you, but you can hear it and see it flash a tad bit. You know, if I was actually making a clip, there it is, and you can. Sort of hear it. So, uh, just wanted you, well, and then obviously, you know, when you're done, you want to export it, click up here, export and share. And then, uh, <clears throat> you get your three options. Choose which one you want. Um, I would recommend having a, this is all through, you know, Windows 10. Most likely you're gonna have a OneDrive account anyway. If you don't, I'd recommend creating one. Um, and yeah, just figured I'd share some info and some stuff I found out. I thought it was pretty cool. Especially since like, um, you know, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live, whatever is, you know, whatever. Never use it, whatever. You know, it's not supported. Um, also, YouTube's, you know, as of, what was it, September last year, whatever, they took uh, their editor down. So, this to me is honestly a great alternative. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would share. Hope you guys have a good one. See you guys later. Peace. Yeah, boy.